Hello Collective, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you guys another General Collective Tarot reading. Just as a reminder, I never reach out to you guys to see if you want a reading. I never ask you to call me. I never ask you to join me on WhatsApp. So uh, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube, if you get a request, please know it's not me. Please take care of yourselves. All right, this reading is for the spirit in you. So for those of you who are in your spiritual gifts or going through an awakening, let's see what God Angels Universe has for you. Mm. The hanging man stuck. I'm hearing a lot of you guys are having challenges connecting with angels, guides, spirits, and deciphering, discerning what your intuition is and what your conscious mind is saying to you. Mm, Eight of Pentacles, nice. Some of you guys may go into the business um, giving readings, um, doing healing work, um, coaching. I love it. Yeah, look, you're stuck and you, you're, I feel like you know a lot of you guys are aware of your spiritual gifts and I feel like you had a crystal clear channel before, but something happened. This death card is that card of transformation, right? Going from dark to light, light to dark. If you are stuck and you're stuck in your conscious mind, you're having issues accessing the subconscious space um, with this death card here I would check any trauma around you in other words have you experienced any recent traumatic events by the way recent means maybe within the last 8 to 12 months is what I'm getting not only that but with the Queen of Cups and the judgment um, is your heart open is your heart chakra active Yeah, some of you guys could have experienced some sort of heartache, some sort of breakdown of emotions, and that is what's causing this hung, um, I guess, state of uh, hung energy, if you will. With the Eight of Pentacles that's going within, yeah, I feel like you're going to have to do some self-actualization, self-realization to figure out what the breakdown was. You know, who knocked out the plug? Which port did the plug come out of? Um, yeah, angels are also saying too, before I even turn over the queen of wands, some of you guys are needing some sort of chakra balancing. And you can go to YouTube to maybe pull up some binaural beats to help you um, realign your chakras. Queen of wands, yeah, you're frustrated, you're angry. Um... Because I also kind of feel like as normal, your spiritual guides was that navigational tool or that nav navigational energy that helped you, you know, um, go through life. You know what I mean? But now say, for instance, that that is you're stuck, it's on hold, it's inactive. You know, so some of you guys are pretty perturbed. Mm, there, oh, four of wands and the temperance. <clears throat> imbalance at home holy shit that just resonated with me I've been having these crazy crazy dreams I'm talking murder and violence and and I'm just like what in the hell um angels are saying yeah some of you guys like myself could be having some pretty weird dreams too you know what's crazy is this queen of cups and the seven of wands I just heard your heart is being held hostage Ooh, okay. Ten of Swords. Interesting. I'm sorry. I'm still being, I'm still held up on that message from angels. Queen of Cups with the Seven of Wands. You don't feel comfortable, right? Expressing love. Emotionally, you're uncomfortable. Now, with Aquarius here, the King of Swords, that dried or loveless or emotional energy is in your home 
that's what's causing you to be hung up. Hey, justice. Hey, once you do this self-discovery, you'll figure it out. Angels just said to me, well, Alex, you just helped a lot of them out. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. I'm also hearing if you've been having wonky dreams like myself, leave them in the comments. Um, it feels like there ha uh, the four of wands for me represents success, foundation, home, peace of mind, you know, family, um, basically your tribe, right? And with the king of swords there, I feel like some of you guys are defensive, overly protective of your home or something going on in, in your home. Maybe for some of you guys, you feel like you have to be overly protective at home or or defensive at home you're not comfortable it kind of feels like um scorpio and sag here temperance i feel like once you figure it out it's gonna the weight is gonna be over you're gonna turn right side up you're gonna figure it out angels are saying again a lot of them just figured it out a lot of you guys have had an aha moment Look at this raggedy ass ten of swords that's over here. Fuck. Um, angels are saying a lot of you guys have been racking your brain trying to figure it out. I get it. There's a justice card, the karmic justice. And there's your aha moment. Basically, when you go within, you start peeling back those layers. I'm also hearing for some of you guys, it could be, again, a child issue. But it could also be your inner child, that heart and emotional body being incredibly irritable and or uncomfortable. The seven of wands represents defiance and, you know, just being resistant and stubborn and no, right? Being a brat and, um, yeah, I feel like somebody around you is being a brat, whether again, it's your inner child, it's your physical child, or it's someone in the home acting very childish. Of course, we're going to need a third row. Of course, we're going to need a third row. <sighs> Anger issues, Queen of Wands. I don't know why. I mean, that's an Aries card. Aries is ruled by Mars. We also have Aries and Scorpio here as well. So oh, let me just read out the signs. I have Pisces here, Aries, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries and Scorpio, and Libra. So if you notice something with the exception, I mean, this is towards the back end of the Zodiac, right? Starting with Cancer, well, Aries is first, but you have Cancer, then you have the next sign over is going to be Libra. I know Leo comes after Cancer, then Virgo, but Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, who's after Sagittarius? Capricorn, then you have Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. So yeah, this feels something like it's out of balance, um, hanging man, almost like something is lopsided. Something is weighing heavily and holding you down and making you feel stuck. And again, it feels like something related to home. It could be your mortgage is too much or you're backed up in rent or mortgage or, you know, you're trying to get out of a bad loan or you want to move and you can't find the right house. It feels like something is kind of keeping you kind of pinned to your foundation, whatever that foundation is. Again, your foundation could be your tribe, your family, somebody's, you know, you're having to take care of a sick loved one or, you know, looking after somebody else's kids or, you know, you live at home with your mom, your dad, and your two sisters. And one of your sisters has kids and because you're not working now, you stay home and watch the kids. But here it's like, no, I want, I really would prefer to go back to school or to get out there and look for a job or maybe even relocate, relocate. Okay. That was sounding really weird. Yeah. It's almost like seven of wands and a queen of cups. Um, it's almost like you can't be emotionally free. Angels just also said to go back to the inner child. The inner child inside of you feels like it is imprisoned. Like it is being held hostage. Ooh, that is a strong message. But I love this because transformation will occur in due time, in universal timing. So 
while you're in this space collective, get down to the bottom of things, okay? Uncover things, do some healing, do some, you know, psychoanalysis, kind of go back, childhood, when this situation started, when you were your happiest compared to how you are now, and then within that time frame, go back and look and see what happened that could have triggered this. All right, angels just said to me, next row is the solution or what's next, what's coming up next. Okay, I like that. Yay, movement, positive movement, forward movement, chariot, that's cancer. And we got cancer there. Angels are saying, change your mind, change your world, change your attitude, change your world. So if you've been kind of stuck and bitter and, you know, annoyed and irritable, that's also kind of weighing you down and blocking your heart too. Angels are saying you're afraid to speak up. The moon card here with the king of uh, swords, who is the speaker of upness, okay? Somebody's afraid to speak up because either you don't want to upset the balance, you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, you know, you're trying to do your part and help somebody out. But at the end of the day, I feel like you're holding yourself hostage for the sake of someone else. Another cancer card, high priestess. You know and feel that things are going to change. Angels are saying for a lot of you guys too, you've been having the hardest time to try to find a tarot reading on YouTube to speak directly to your issue. If this reading speaks directly to your issue, please leave me that comment because that the way that that high priestess kind of came out of the deck, it was almost like she stumbled out. So many of you will stumble onto this reading and it's like, boom, spot on exactly my situation, Alex. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, because you're in a stuck position, you've been trying to find a solution. Like what the hell do I do? I'm also hearing here, you may, somebody may be manipulating you at home. May, you know, cause the moon represents secrets and things that are not seen. Okay. And I feel like for some of you guys, somebody could be hiding something from you, making you feel guilty, making you feel like you have to, you have to do this. Like, no, with this is what we agreed upon, but I don't like that feeling. I don't like this feeling because it's almost like they're off being happy, getting what they want while you're suffering. Mm -mm, no, no, we don't do that. Not in this universe or any other universe. There it is. I just said it. Struggle. It's almost like you're trying to save somebody else while, while you drown. Not only that, but I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, you're keeping things inside the moon card, right? And you shouldn't for fear of what an argument that they're going to kick you out or they're going to look down on you or be mad at man. Listen, I will always stick up for myself. I don't give a shit what people think. Um, I'm not even lying. It's like, you know what? Here's a perfect example. <laughs> this is a shitty example, but this is who I am. So it's almost like if somebody calls me and I'm like playing a game on my phone, I love playing dominoes right on my phone. So I will hold my phone and watch that whole entire call go right to voicemail. Okay. And then sometimes people will text me talking about, I called you and I'm like, yeah, no, I saw. And that's all I'll say. I won't be like, oh, I'll call you back or I'm in. No, I saw your call. I'm acknowledging that you called me. You called me. But well, guess what? I'm still fucking playing my game because guess what? I'm busy because for me personally, that game is like therapy to me. It helps me kind of zone out of the world and zone into something strategic for me. Um, so I feel like that's kind of like this situation here as in because you don't have a whole lot going on to justify why you don't want to do this anymore. That's where this is coming in. You're feeling like shit because it's like, how do I let them know 
I don't want to do this anymore just because I don't want to do it. I feel like I have to provide an explanation or an excuse. No, the hell you don't. No, the hell you don't. I don't want to do this anymore is a complete statement. If they go around that, well, why? And you, well, you know, I did say and I did do it. Now I'm done. And I appreciate you. And I hope I've helped out at the same time. But now I need to do other things. Now I need to concentrate and focus on me. This is a huge message coming from angels. If you ever say to anybody, I need to concentrate on me. I need to focus on, you know, my life and my finances. And they have any sort of negative rebuttal. Cut that person off immediately and quick. Because in that moment, they're saying, well, I should come before you and your endeavors. And I'm sorry. Again, maybe that's just me. I'm sorry. It could be, could be me. I don't do that. It's almost like you can't insert yourself in front of me to me. Like you can't put yourself in front of me, right? And you can't tell me or imply or infer that you're putting yourself in front of me. Uh-uh. We don't do that. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, sir. Mm, no, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> look at the tens, ten, ten of your, this reading, this reading is saying to your collective, let that shit go. Yeah. Start planning for your future. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You got pentacles to get, you got pentacles to get gone. Universe is trying to balance you out. That's why this message is coming to you, to you today. Cause I feel like, yeah, for the spirit in you. For a lot of you guys, it's almost like God, angels, universe, spirit has been trying to communicate this message to you, but because of the current state of mind, state of emotion that you're in right now, and also your physical situation that you're in, you weren't able to hear it. I ain't got no problem bringing it to you. I ain't got no problem saying to you collective, get your ass out of this situation. See, just like that. Okay. Um, yeah, you got these ugly cards, five of wands, 10 of wands, and a 10 of swords, 10 of wands, again, burdens, whatever the situation is, is burdening your life and 10 of swords. It's almost like that's that victim mentality, that martyr mentality, where it's like, like, like you feeling like you have to do this because you owe them something or you're not doing anything else, or you're not pulling your weight. You're not doing your part excuse me judgment is like if you don't get your ass up out the situation make a decision and move on okay not only that but angels are also saying too for some of you guys yes who are out of work who who do have idle time yeah absolutely take an online course go to youtube university and figure out how to make candles or how to crochet or how to start your own business okay um and get you know I feel like the message there too is this too is a part of bettering yourself. And I also feel like with the justice card, whatever this free time or whatever this is that you are needing to be freed up from is going to be worth it in the future, right? Because I feel like divine timing is saying to you collective, listen, it's time to start planning for your future. Let's go. Pip, pip. Cancer, cancer. Uh, moon is Pisces, but for me as a reader, it's cancer as well. I do want to call out something. We got all of the water signs here in double energy. I mean, cancer is just all over this thing. Okay. We have cancer here. Uh, for me as a reader, the moon is Pis uh, cancer as well, but in the tarot, it's Pisces. You have cancer here as the high priestess and cancer here is the queen of cups. So I feel like cancer specifically Y'all know y'all the mother's mother energy that smothering mother, right? I feel like this is going to resonate right on out down to your hair follicles. Okay. Next in line, Pisces. Okay. We got Scorpio here with the death and then also here with the judgment card. I also have Aries here twice. My other Martian brothers and sisters. So Scorpio, Cancer and Aries. I feel like this is going to resonate with you guys the most. It's almost like I came to you and virtually and spiritually and energetically punched you in the throat. <laughs> I, I say that, you know, um, lovingly, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I do kind of feel like um, <clears throat> it's time. Enough is enough. My crappy ass high priestess card, but I love it so much. <laughs> I'm going to get me some new. I promise you, I got like 
45 decks around here. But these are my go-to because they have my energy on them. Um, so yeah, I feel like, again, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and then Pisces, and then also Aries. Cancer, Aries, and Scorpio. This reading is going to resonate with you most. Pisces, it could resonate with you as well. Technically, it could resonate with anybody with those signs in their placements, or if it just freaking resonates. Energy is energy. It's not a zodiac sign. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. If this reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me those comments because I want to know. I've been going through some crazy shit, and I'm just like, what the hell? So um, this resonates with me about 20 to 30%. You know, of course, you, we have to go through life, free will, whatever, whatever. I can come back later on next week and this resonate the crap, uh, resonate the crap out of my situation. And I'm pretty sure that's not proper English, but I'm gone. I love you, collective. Bye.